Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to actually show you guys the proper way of cleaning your dirt bike or your pit bike. If you guys do want to buy these Chinese bikes, um, I know a lot of you guys ask questions like, yo, how do you do maintenance on it? How do you clean it and stuff like that? I don't have a pressure washer. I don't have any of those fancy tools. The only thing I have is like chemicals, but I'll leave a link in the description below. I made a video doing it before in the past, but if you guys want to know the chemicals I use, it's in the description below on how I actually clean and maintain my bike. Um, we have two people downstairs they're about to start cleaning their bikes so of course I'm gonna go clean mine both my dirt bike and my motorcycle and that's what this video is about we're gonna show you how to clean your bike without using like a pressure washer all those fancy all we have is a hose so you guys are gonna see with a hose and maybe a toothbrush you can clean the bike completely which reminds me let me go grab my toothbrush this isn't the toothbrush I use to brush my teeth it's it's like my cleaning toothbrush I used to like clean shoes and stuff like that so I'm not nasty don't worry but uh, yeah let's go clean Let's go clean my bike. All right, so my bike's barely dirty, but I mean, it, it's still still got some dirt on it, and then there's a lot of dust on like stuff like this. Uh, but his Apollo 007 is filthy. Like, it's not as bad. He, he rinsed it off so it doesn't look as bad, but we're gonna show you guys how to clean him and make it look brand new. Lissandro over there got a new four-wheeler. He's so happy, but this is too, too much power for him. <laughs> He's gonna end up dying on this. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna fix it up a little bit. He just got a new four-wheeler. Um, he paid like 1,300 for it, which is not bad. Uh, 15? 1,500 for it. Not bad, he's just gotta do some adjustments to it. This damn bike, It's bro. a Yamaha, it's a 2007 Yamaha YFZ 450. 2007 Yamaha YZ 450. Why? YZ, YZ 450. YFD 450. But yeah, so starting off, let me turn the hose on. As you guys can see, we just have a normal hose. And I'm gonna start off. You have to? Yeah. Here, it says to? Yeah. It's like a quarter, quarter, or something like that. Wait, did you change the oil yet or no? No. I don't have that, that type of oil, and I gotta get a filter. All right, well, as you guys saw, all I did was rinse it off. You don't want it, when you're rinsing it, you don't want to keep it on something for too long. Like, you don't want to sit there and hold it and let it soak. You just rinse everything slowly and just hit everything on it. And then, you're gonna use this spray. Let me find where I put it. You use this spray, bio wash. I'll leave a link in the description below. I don't have much. I think I'm gonna kill this whole bottle. I might need a little bit more. But with this stuff, you just spray stuff down that's dirty. I would normally cover the car, but I'm gonna let the bike sit for a while before I ride it, probably like a few days. So I'm not worried it'll dry up by the time it's ready to ride the next time. But if you wanna ride it that same day, cover the carb or take it off. You don't want the intake getting wet and stuff like that. You don't wanna turn the bike on uh, with that being wet because you don't want it sucking in any water, but basically just spray the whole bike down And this stuff will just eat the dirt. It'll eat it away Can anyone hook them up with discounts on parts of a four-wheeler? <laughs> spray the brakes just spray everything basically and then you're gonna let it sit for a uh, I don't know, 15, 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, I'm already running out. Get the underside. A lot of people forget this underside. It's okay to get the brakes with this. Again, I'm not riding it for a few days. So I'm not worried about like getting parts wet. As long as you don't cut it on, it'll be fine if you just let it sit. But you just hit every crevice. This stuff, it works really good. I love this, this product. 
I usually use like a quarter of a bottle every time I use it um, just because like I, I just want everything to be detailed clean hit this part because it's really dirty get inside get inside here and just hit everything all right now I'm gonna just let it sit and then I'm gonna scrub it when it's done sitting for a little bit with the toothbrush hits and spots pots, spots with it and then I'll show you guys that's basically it. it's really simple once I do that, I'm gonna rinse it off after I scrub it, and then I might hit it again with another bio wash, just a thin layer on top, and then rinse it off. And then after that, it's just lubing the chain, which is really, really easy. I'll show you guys how to do that. But for now, I'm gonna wait, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, so now that it's been sitting, you can go ahead and scrub it. You just wanna scrub it. I mean, you're not really trying to get the dirt off. You just wanna break it up, get the dirt loose. should spray it again you want to do it while it's still wet if it dries up it's going to be kind of hard I'm gonna spray it again and then now I'm gonna scrub it. No, but I, I it while it was sitting. This stuff right here, because I don't want this stuff to be dry. You want to spray it when it's still a little wet. I kind of let it sit for too long. All right, now we gotta do it. I'm not riding it till I do my own thing. I don't know if the coolant properly hooked up. Hey, do you have any water or something to drink? Yeah, there's some in the laundry room. All right, now that I scrubbed it a little, now we're gonna actually put pressure, instead of just rinsing it, we're gonna put a little pressure on it, and then we're gonna hit it again with another coat. But like I said, you're not keeping it in one spot, you're just going back and forth. And as you guys can see, it already looks a lot cleaner. This stuff is all completely clean. So you just want to hit, basically take the, your uh, bio wash formula and you just go through and just hit things that still look dirty. You have to look really close because just because it's wet, it might look clean. Like for instance, look at his bike. It's dirty. You can definitely see the dirt. Um, but then if I get it wet, it looks like it's clean. Like it looks like it's like, oh, it's fresh. It's clean. But when it dries up, you'll see the dirt. So like I said, get it wet. Spray it again with bio wash and hit the spots that look a little dirty so you gotta actually look into it. I'm real quick. Alright, so when it comes to the chain, if you don't have something like this, you can still do it, but this just makes it easier so that way you can actually spin the tire and get the chain clean. But this is the products I use for the chain. Again, I will leave a link in the description below. Hopefully I don't to But basically it's the chain lube, chain cleaner, and multi-purpose penetrating lube. So what I'll use first is the chain cleaner and I use this little handy little thing. It's cool because you can just put it on underneath and rotate it and it'll clean it. But if you don't have something to prop it up on, it's fine. You can easily just have a friend hold the bike and push it down a hill while you keep your hand on there. And when it's going down a hill, the chain's gonna move anyways. Jeez, that's loud. But I'll prop it up and I'll show you guys exactly how I clean the chain. So I'll get the chain cleaner right here. Go ahead and shake it, open it up, and then you just rotate the tire as you spray. You spray down low. Let me move this out the way. You can spray underneath it or above it. And then once you get it clean like that, you can spray underneath it or you can come up here and spray the top part of this. And then you want to grab your little brush 
have it grip underneath it and do the same thing, just spin the tire. And then grab the other side, spin it. And that's how you clean the chain with the uh, actual chain cleaner. Now we're gonna lube it up. Next, you wanna use the chain wax, the chain lube, basically. This is what I use to lube my chain up. You don't have to use the brush no more. You just spray it on it and let it lube up. Come to the top, do the same thing. You can hit the other side as well, just by going to the other side and hitting it. But that way the chain's lubed up and then you have excess stuff that you might want to wipe off so that way it doesn't like look bad or anything. And my bike is done. So I'll just get a rag and for instance I'll wipe off the chain guard, a little metal bottom part just get everything clean so that way it's not like dirty like that with the chain oil and stuff it's pretty simple to lube a chain up and you usually want to do this like once every few rides I accidentally got a lot on my tires which you don't usually want to do because you don't want your tires to have no grip um, but I'll end up respraying it down anyway the tires so that way we can get it and then I'm gonna dry it off and you're basically done. You can use this multi-purpose. You can spray it on like the exhaust because it basically inhibits rust, so it's not going to rust as much. So I'll spray it on the exhaust and the metal framing part so that way it doesn't rust and it has a little shine to it. All right, as you guys can see, the bike is a lot cleaner. Like it's, it's, it's still a little, I mean, it's a dirt bike. It's supposed to be dirty, but I did clean it up a little bit. Um, the chain's lube, so it's ready to go. Again, like I said though, because I got the intake wet and I didn't take off the carb, I'm not gonna ride this bike for a few days just because I got work and stuff anyway, so I don't really mind. So that way this can fully dry because I don't want it to be soaking wet and then ride it, turn it on and it sucks in water or anything like that. But the bike is clean, you guys can see, man. I mean, it's clean, the tires are dirty, but I don't care about like making the tires shine black and stuff because it's a dirt bike, like I said. But the bike is still very clean. I didn't ride it that much, but it looks good. And I just want to show you guys me cleaning my towel towel just because I know some people are curious about how to clean it and how to maintain it. So I'll do this usually after like a heavy ride when my bike actually looks dirty. But if I just go ride for like an hour or two hours, I usually don't care to clean it. But if I'm out for like five, six hours, I'll clean it right after or the next day, whenever I got time. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more videos. I'm still waiting on this part. I emailed them, they finally sent it over, so just gotta wait for it to come in, and then once it comes in, we can actually take the bike out and have fun with it. And then my friend, his RFZ is just destroyed. He, the back tire popped again, it's dirty. Um, but a lot of you guys like this bike. A lot of you like the RFZ Apollo better than the Tau Tau. Let me know in the comment section below, I really wanna know. What bike do you think looks better? The RFZ, the Red Apollo, or the Orange Tau Tau KTM? You guys gotta let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, but we found more people that ride. So we're gonna start riding with them eventually. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. Show some love, show some support. I think the next video I'm gonna do with this bike is the carburetor swap. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a top speed test with this carburetor. And then we're gonna put on the new Amazon carburetor that we got and see if it, if it actually runs faster, if it runs better, and if it's worth it. I got the cheap one, the $30, $40 one, which, I mean, that's what I got for the other Apollo, but I like it, it, it worked good. And plus, I like to keep things cheap on the channel, so that way for those of you guys that can't afford really expensive $90 carburetors and stuff like that, I'll show you guys the cheap route and see if it works and do reviews on it for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.